Well, I could say this is a shock, but honestly, this kind of conduct is really to be expected from the pro-abortion lobby, especially the extremist, you know, left-wing SJW uh, sect of the pro-abortion lobby, which is prone to violence in the name of choice. You know, hilarious how they always like to justify all that. But uh, this, in this case, you have this pro-abortion terrorist group known as uh, Gene's Revenge, basically threatening to shoot up a uh, pro-life pregnancy center. Yeah, that, that right there is the kind of uh, violent mentality that the extreme wing of the pro-abortion movement is into. Plain and simple. See, not only do they want to murder your kids, they also want to murder uh, adults. Essentially, don't, not only do they want to murder unborn babies, I'll put it that way, but they also want to murder adults who don't agree with them. But it says here on uh, Breitbart, pro-life group in Nebraska receives shooting threat note allegedly signed by Jane's Revenge. Yeah. Cute, cute little name they give their uh, terroristic group. But again, this is the kind of stuff that feminism, essentially I call this feminism unhinged. But it says here in the article, a pro-life group received a note which appeared to be signed by the pro-abortion domestic terror group Jane's Revenge, threatening to shoot up the space where the activists were meeting. Members of Students for Life Action said they saw the note uh, taped to the front of the uh, St. John Paul II Newman Center in Omaha, Nebraska on Saturday after they arrived to host its Nebraska political leadership workshop. The purpose of the workshop was to strategize how about how to use Students for Life, uh, Life's campaign for abortion-free cities to shut down Dr. Leroy Carhart's infamous late-term abortion facility in the state and work towards the Sanctuary City Ordinance in Bellevue. That, that's the goals, and they get this uh, sign threat, uh, this is shooting threat by this uh, pro-abortion terrorist group. The note reads, this is, the, this is what the note from this terrorist group reads. The note reads, if our right to abortion in Bellevue is taken away due to the attempt to pass an abortion ban and it gets passed, we will shoot up your Newman Center with our AR-14 assault uh, rifles. Sincerely, Jane's Revenge. And they, they show the screenshot of the note. That shows the kind of murderous mentality of these pro-abortion activists. Like I said, not only do they want to kill their the, uh, the uh, unborn babies, they also want to sh uh, murder adults who don't agree with them. You know, so their their murderous mentality extends beyond unborn babies. It extends to grown grown adults, who also people who are already born who don't agree with them. And there are some of these sickos who even want to, you know, uh, kill babies when they're even outside the womb. You know, they call it they call it a late uh, what do they call it? partial birth abortion, where the baby's old enough to survive outside the womb, and they still want to kill it. Yeah, that's the kind of sick mentalities people get into. To where not only it's not enough to want to murder the unborn child, they want to murder the fully grown adult who wants to oppose them for doing that. That just shows the kind of sicko mentality of, of essentially feminism when it's unhinged. You see, another great example of feminism unhinged is what's going on over in Iran. I could say a whole lot more on that, but I'm not going to bother. You know, because I could, if I were to say that, then I'd probably get all the uh, censor, the YouTube censors after me. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.